So for this whole batch, you are literally talking nearly 50 grams of protein and only like five grams of fat without any whey protein powder used whatsoever. What is up family? You know the way I never know how to start these videos. Well, we are starting this video off with a full on restock grocery haul. So we have two things to do for tomorrow. We go through a killer protein pancake recipe without using whey protein. And then we're also gonna go through a full day of eating without using any whey protein to show you that you can actually hit a high protein target without the use of supplements. So we are in Little, the motherland numero uno, the first grocery haul to do. So let's bang this out the way like <laughs> And here we go, family. Little haul of the week. You know, we have two hauls. We have little, and then we have Duns. Probably do that later, but yeah, let's go through this. So firstly, some white potatoes, some extra lean mints, some pink ladies, big ass melon, some shrooms, Cajun chicken breast, a ton of fat-free yogurt, some peppers, some milk, frozen strawberries, some carrots, pineapple chunks, some salmon, some tomatoes, celery, the poverty Milky Way bars, some grapes, drumsticks, vine tomatoes, very posh, some blueberries, some more deli meat, baby leaf salad, some bananas, aubergines, a leek, some mange too, green beans, and some eggs. And that is our family, the full-on little run. Nothing's changed. How much did it cost? Way too much. <laughs> Boom! Transition of peace through the forehead, rocking the little bag in the motherland, numero tua. And you know what that means. Little! 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 <laughs> like the video, subscribe to the channel. This is what we do for f***ing YouTube. <laughs> and you already know the first thing we do is steal the baby cart. And of course there's two more things we need to do. <laughs> And even better fam, they are on sale, three euro, for the best cereal on the planet. <laughs> but we have a problem. A sort of good problem, but half price for Breyers, full price for Halo Top. So let me know what you would pick down below in the comments, but you'll find out in three, two, one. Boom! <laughs> Transition through the forehead. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Right, so here we go, the second pickup. Pretty much just to make up, we get like a 50 euro voucher every week, so we use that, and we also pick up some of the branded items that you can't get in Little. So here we go. We start off with some pre-made jelly. So we have the coconut, the pineapple, the raspberry, the strawberry one. They're all pretty good, the mango one. Three packs of the normal jelly, black currant my wadi, summer fruit my wadi, quick low calorie soup, 40 more eggs, another packet of celery, three more packs of discounted one euro leeks, cancer juice, of course, pilau express rice, some whole wheat bagels, some light hot chocolate, Frank's red hot sauce, Bourneville cocoa powder, whole wheat wraps, and of course, the white chocolate cocoa gains. So of course, with this and little, that isn't still everything that I eat. We do still have some stuff in the fridge, but overall, that is the majority of my diet. So, oh, how can we forget? Let's address the question everyone wants to know. It had to be done, family. Halo Top, I am so, so sorry, but at two euro 80, guys, you cannot help but stock up on some brayers. So we got three of the cookies and cream and then two of the salted caramel. By far, my favorite two flavors. So that is that. See you all in the morning where we will get making some killer pancakes. Boom! Transition of peace through the forehead. And yes, everyone is looking at me very strangely. <laughs> Boom. 20 minutes, bish, bash, bash. I'm telling you, it's the same shit, just a different day. If you want to be successful, you just have to be consistent at doing the basics over and over. And yes, we are still rocking the Dunn Store's bag. Why? Because we are keeping it 100% relatable on this channel. Ain't nobody got time for expensive Gucci bags. Ugh. So firstly, let's address the fact that I look like an absolute hobo. I need a haircut, I'm pale as hell. Yes, I know. But we've just finished smashing our back again, this new project, guys, I'm working on. I need you to kill it, okay? Comment down below. Are you gonna kill it when this comes out? I don't know, I'm excited, okay? I don't wanna get all emotional, but this is big, okay? But anyway, you read the title of the video. One of my most viewed videos, in fact, is actually how to make a protein shake without whey protein. Uh, so you've actually requested a protein pancake edition, which I'm definitely up for, because I know not everyone has access to a protein powder. And before we start, as you know, I'm all about value. On my website, I have gone over a full blog of the updated protein science, the best protein supplements, how much protein you need, all of that jazz, along with like different ingredients you could use for this recipe, the macros, 
the full on description of it. Different recipe variations to the pancakes, you know, ones for like bulking and ones for cutting. So yeah, do go check that out. But then also after this protein pancake recipe, we are actually gonna go through a full day of eating without using any protein powder. So I'm gonna try to hit my macros without using anyway. And of course, trying to keep the meals a bit more interesting, you know, not just chicken and broccoli. So without further ado, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get making some pancakes. Okay family, so here we go. Everything you're gonna need for the most anabolic pancakes on this planet. So we have oats, egg whites, cocoa powder, we have fat-free yogurt, baking powder, flavor drops, and some cinnamon. And to keep this video nice and snappy, screenshot the next snap for the exact quantity of each ingredient in three, two, one. And there we have it family. You know the next thing to do is pop everything into a nice juicy blender. Again, it looks like an absolute mess, but wait till you taste it. Then, and there we go, family. That is the batter. You wanna get it nice and sort of creamy, pretty much like any pancake batter. Get a pan, some non-stick fry light. Boo, 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 boo. Get our mix. And we are gonna go for lots of small ones this time. So pour out just enough to be a small one. Then you wanna get yourself a nice thin spatula. And the key here to know when to flip is when you get all these sort of bubbles in the middle. Get a plate. <coughs> And from one pancake to nine of them, look at that stack of the gods, and then you know what's next. You top them with some micronutrients, so 100 grams of strawberries, add a bit of white chocolate syrup, and sprinkle it with some Splenda. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. And there we go family, for the whole batch you're talking 450 calories, 44 grams of protein, 57 grams of carbs, and only 5 grams of fat, without any whey protein powder whatsoever. And of course, you can easily adapt this. All of this will be on the website. You know, if you want to bulk, <sighs> you could easily like blend up like a banana into the mix or just chop it up on the side. You could use whole eggs instead of egg whites or add in some raisins or even like top it with mini marshmallows. You could just use some more of the cocoa powder. Go for like a full fat yogurt instead of a low fat one. Throw in a nice tablespoon of nut butter, so like cashew nut, almond, peanut butter, or even like any jam into the mix. A super easy way would be to cook them in like full fat regular olive oil you could even throw in some coffee to the mix and turn them into like proper pre-workout protein pancakes or you know what if you're really struggling to add calories you can simply just add some more oats to your mix to add more carbs changing the game <laughs> anyway we have a call in 20 minutes we need to take advantage and get a juicy ass thumbnail but yeah if you try this recipe out please tag me in your stories share the recipe let me know what you think boom we're back <laughs> sorry for the rush but we did have a call with one of my managers sort of helping me on the back end of this big project again i need your support for this please otherwise a man's gonna be broke but i know you're gonna like it it's gonna be incredible <sighs> link to bulk powders well no. <laughs> so yeah, realistically for you it's okay, but 450 calories for me is just like a snack. So we need to have another sort of whopper meal now, then I do need to go to Carrot Mine and sort out a few things. Here we go, meal number two. So we have the whole wheat wraps from Duns, then we have some tomatoes, we have some red kidney beans, the Mexican style rice, of course, then the reduced fat cheddar cheese, then some cayenne pepper, game changer for seasoning the chicken breast with. So what the plan of action now is just to make up the burrito of the gods. So three, two, one. We have the chicken cooking up nicely. We have the rice in the microwave. We have the beautiful burrito ready to go. And bish bash bosh, we have the full on meal. Now that is more like it. We topped it with some of the lentil curls, added some of the Frank's Red chili lime hot sauce. You know you're bulking when you can barely wrap your burrito, but anyway, macros will be on the screen. Here we go, oh my days. Familia Mexicana, eso es para ti. Ay ay ay, caramba, es muy bueno. <laughs> If there is one life lesson you take away from my videos, the most valuable lesson of all is to always buy two or even three or five or six of these because they are shit and back them up regularly. But yes, we did buy this one, what, like a couple of months ago and it crashed. <laughs> of course. Luckily though, your boy is smart and since my previous horrific experience, I have backed it up every single day. So we are in Carrick Mines. I think it is still under warranty. So we're going to have a big argument. Hey you, I'm coming for you. And then, while I'm here, I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> oh god. 
But we do have the dinosaur of an iPhone 4, the client phone. Pretty much all I use this for is WhatsApp and clients. Most of it's done through emails, Skype and all that stuff. But we have got donated this one from Mama Murray. It's still pretty old. It's like an iPhone 5. But the thing is the SIM card is pretty much expired on this or something. So when I tried to transfer it, it said I needed a new thing. So we might as well pop into Carphone Warehouse see what they have on offer. Might just browse their items, always just like looking around the shops because my life is so boring. <laughs> you know what? I actually might invest in a new blender. My one's pretty pathetic. For the amount I use my blender, I know the Ninja one is pretty good, but then there's a Nutri Bullet and then this Auto IQ one. I don't know, comment down below. Now, I am still so close to upgrading my camera. Still I'm using my iPhone, but the Canon G7X, I think it might have to be like a Christmas present maybe, or I might just have to invest in it, but yeah, I don't know. Comment down below again. Should I invest in a camera or is my phone good enough? SIM card fully functioning. Great success. And no, KFC is not on the cards today. That is not how you hit your protein intake. <laughs> but now, Harvey Norman, I'm coming for you. Go Harvey motherfucking go. <laughs> Many unbearable hours later. Snack of the absolute gods fam, two whole wheat bagels toasted to a crisp, staple blueberry jam on one, Cajun chicken in the other, and an apple for some micros. Again, no protein powder, macros will be up there. If you struggle to get your carbs and your protein in, then bagels with a little bit of jam, and of course some deli meat is the way to go. Mm. What is up family, we're out finishing the steps, 12 to 15K to hit, still a bit to catch up on, but it is freezing. But we stay disciplined to the steps because we are not snowflakes. We tick those boxes, tick, tick, tick. <laughs> to be honest with you, I am really not liking how this video is coming out. I put a lot of pressure on myself to provide some sort of quality content, but this one's just all over the place. So yeah, let me know down below whether you like these super, super raw ones. And of course, the motherland. Numero uno! <laughs> oh baby, that's nice and warm. I'm telling you though, my confidence is growing in vlog and I literally don't give a shit about anyone else at this stage. Not that I used to anyway. But, back by popular demand. Here we go, the little adventures continue. <laughs> so firstly, we have a cotton rug, some wellingtons, a helmet, an electric leaf blower, a donut cushion, some thongs, and how can you not forget, a tractor. Once again, stay tuned for the next episode of The Little Adventures, where we will dive in deeper to see what Little has on offer. Now, ideally for dinner, you'd like to be able to have a pizza on a regular basis. Well, <laughs> what if I were to say that you could, although just not as macro friendly. <laughs> but anyway, yes, we are actually gonna make up a pizza. I told you I wanted to switch up the meals with this one. So we have one pizza base from Little, then we have like a medley of vegetables. We have some of the reduced fat, again, cheddar cheese. Then we have some tomato pasta sauce and the second half of the chicken. So what we're gonna do is to make up our own anabolic chicken, mushroom, tomato, pepper, cheese, pizza of peace. Bring it to the oven and pop it in nicely in the center like so and we take it out nice and cooked pop it on a beautiful wooden board and then we slice it into eight majestic pieces <laughs> and again no whey protein whatsoever macros will be on the screen e familia italiana questo è per voi però dobbiamo assaggiare questo beautiful piece of machinery <laughs> ecco qui ragazzi pizza napoletana mm. Buonissimo! <laughs> every day, every day. 20 minutes, fish bash, bosh. I know a lot of you watch these when you're doing cardio, so this is for you. Keep going, okay? Just think, it's only 20 minutes of your whole day. The rest of the day is just gonna be spent on your ass. Just do it, okay? Do it! The tally tubby is back. Mr. Tinky Winky. <laughs> oh. Tinky Winky. Tinky Winky. Dipsy. An absolute whopper of a workout. You know those workouts where your contractions are just like, PING! 
<laughs> well, that was one of those. The pump was good, the weight was good, we hit a few PRs. But to finish off the day yesterday, of course, we had our staple. It was a Halo Top cookie and cream, and then the best cereal on the planet. It was like 100 grams of Cocoa Pops with the fat-free yogurt. So I could literally feel all of those Cocoa Pops just engorging into my muscles. But yeah, that is a full day of eating in the books without any whey protein powder. I don't usually do this, to be honest. I usually have whey protein quite a lot, but in terms of the overall macros, I'll bring them up on screen. So 240 grams of protein, that is far too much to be honest. Well, it depends how high your carbs are. 576 grams of carbs and 67 grams of fat. So yeah, that was like 3,700, 3,800 calories, which was actually quite a large deficit. I think I burned like 4,600. So yeah, that wasn't actually planned to be honest. Because again, whenever I record, I just really underestimate how much just moving around and recording takes out of you. But yeah, that is that. Yet another whey proteinless anabolic post-workout meal of peace. Pretty much all of the parents left over, but we have four skinless drumsticks, then we have like half a packet of these baby white potatoes, and then some spinach and some tomatoes, just like a side salad. And yeah, to be honest, I think that's gonna be the video. I have a long day ahead, it's just gonna be super, super boring. But yeah, hopefully you liked this video, it gave you like a few recipe ideas. And again, don't forget to check out the website. Literally, I'll go over absolutely everything protein related, all of the science and all of that. But yeah, that is the video. The main take home message of this video is that you do not need to be using whey protein powder to make gains. It is only there for convenience reasons and if you really struggle to hit your protein intake. Otherwise, meats, fish, dairies, any recipe that I've had, you know, on this channel, like from my uh, 24 hours eating like a celebrity or something, or just my normal full day of eatings, are suffice. But you cannot forget, link to bulk powders. No. <laughs> Hope you all have a good day. Stay tuned for the next video. Boop!